Learn local organizations look far and wide for inspiration to improve literacy in their local communities. Morrison's Training Center has taken on the Time Castle initiative set up by the Edinburgh's Adult Learning Project in Scotland. The project uses sport as a hook to engage sports fans in education programs. The 27 participants, including three generations, created a digital living history of their football and netball clubs while enhancing their employability skills. My name is uh, Karen Pryor and I'm the Education Coordinator at Morrison's uh, Education and Training. We're an adult community education provider in Mount Evelyn and the name of our project is the Mount Evelyn Netball and Football Club Digital History Project. Yes, my name's Andrew Gibbons. I'm the president of Mount Evelyn Junior Football Club. Um, last year I uh, was involved in the Mount Evelyn Football Club, Netball Club um, History Project. My name is Barry Marshall. I am a general committee member of the Mount Evelyn Football Netball Club. I man the gate of a match day and I also do the cleaning of the rooms. My name is Mark Hunt, I'm a teacher at Morrison's and the project was called the Mount Evelyn Football and Netball Club History Project. Um, the project itself was a fantastic idea um, and I'm really um, pleased that Morrison's got involved in, in the running of the project. Uh, just to let people know the history, especially around Mount Evelyn because the Mount Evelyn Footy Club is a big part of the community um, in the area and uh, to let people know that it's been going for that many years and we have got a, a long history and um, just to get people to be involved in, in the footy club and the community. So. The project was inspired by a Scottish project from Tyne Castle or out of Edinburgh called the Tyne Castle uh, Project where um, the idea of people's interest in soccer was a hook to get people to use digital literacy and uh, use their reading and writing. So it was about looking at what people were already interested in and of course uh, football does have a lot of passion. Uh, people follow football very strongly and, and very committed to it. So that was our inspiration to this Scottish project. The main aims were to really engage some people in digital literacy that probably didn't have the experience in that before. So we thought we'd use the football club and the history of that as a way of engaging them and sort of use it as a subtle way to get them to start using computers and cameras and sound recording and uh, things like that. The participants came from the football club and the netball club. Uh, they ranged in ages from 7 through to 70 odd. Um, we we asked David Parkin, a very uh, famous uh, AFL figure who was the coach of Hawthorne, played in Hawthorne and led Carlton to a premiership. A premiership. Uh, he came along uh, to the Mount Evelyn Football Club rooms. We uh, advertised that and there was a lot of people who turned up interested in seeing David Parkin. But he also talked about the project and what the project could do for the, the people who got involved in it. How it got started was uh, through Morrison House, they contacted the football club and asked if or told that would they would like to do a uh, a history of the group to put on the web and um, a football legend by the name of David Parkin would do the launching of it anyway that the, the, uh, the occasion arrived and David Parkin came for the launching of the history group and what a great evening that was he inspired everywhere a good turn up of people here from the football netball club he inspired us all told us of his experiences of other football, netball clubs that he had been associated with and how he recommended that we be inspired by it, follow, follow it through and of the great benefit it will give to the football, netball club You'll do the necessary the things that will help you to achieve it. You will pursue them with enthusiasm and vigour. You will persist at them over time because great things in this world only happen out of persistence and usually over time. It doesn't happen. Having heard, listened to and read about the particular project that's being put into place, I'm suggesting to you that this would be a very vital thing for individuals within the club and certainly for the club and the history that can be gathered and shown in film and in word that will give this place some substance for those going forward over many years. And I, what's the word? I implore you to think about it 
and positively get involved if you possibly can. Thank you. Okay, um, participants came along. We started off by um, creating biographies and creating little footy cards, uh, and that could that range from the ladies who worked in the canteen uh, right through to um, older members who'd been around the club for decades and decades. Sure, so if you go to the wiki page, the first page is a brief introduction to the history of the football club. We also have uh, links to the interviews. The interviews are probably the best thing about the wiki. I think that it's really a talking, living history of people that have had significant influences within the club. Uh, we also have life members lists. We have the major centerpiece was a, a photo story. So it's like a 10 minute photo movie about the uh, football club using uh, still photos as the, as the basis for that. I think some of the most positive um, highlights were seeing three generations working together. Seeing um, grandson, father and grandfather working alongside the computer, the grandson teaching grandfather um, and learning from the different generations I think was, was really a lovely thing to see. The thing I, the most positive thing I got out of it was not real because I'd only been with the club three years prior to the project coming along and I had no idea of the, uh, the great history of the club but to see the involvement of the people involved with the club, members who had been here for many many years uh, like 30 years, 40 years and the love and the affection, the care that they all have for each other, um, they just you know, they were all like brothers and sisters. They just, it, was, it was fantastic. I couldn't believe it. It, um, it was like a big family. Everyone just cared for each other. Uh, it was a, and really, really great. I, uh, I got a lot of satisfaction out of that. And it brought me closer to the club. And I thought, well, you know, and I, I, I thought then that people come to the club, they don't leave, they stay with it. That's how the club is, you know. It was great. Uh, once the project was finished, we we sat down and we had a, a night um, to launch the, the whole project, which was fantastic. It was up at the um, library in Mount Evelyn and we had members of uh, parliament there and we played the, some of the interviews, which was a little uh, bit embarrassing my for myself <laughs> because I didn't realise I looked like that on uh, camera. But, um, but it was, uh, yeah, we had a good night there. Called it the final siren. We had a bit of a celebration. Um, and participants came along and talked about what they'd have achieved. Uh, so that was a great celebration. We, the wiki site was launched and um, the, public, the general public got to know that this, this was a resource for everybody to use. Participants will have an ongoing role to do with the wiki. They will be able to continually edit it, continually upload stuff. We've actually handed the project back to the club so that they are in charge of uh, monitoring it and keeping it up to date with the new occurrences and the new history that they're making. Because it's the best thing the club's ever had, I think. Because it just brings everyone close together and everyone knows what's happening from day one to the next. It's a great thing. <laughs>